today we have high winds and heavy rain. And if I was a sensible narrowboater, I wouldn't be cruising today. I'd be sat nice and cosy by the fire. The thing is, sometimes you have no choice. You have to cruise if you are a continuous cruiser when the conditions are like this. And today is just one of those days. Look at all those sheep lying down. I'm a one thing it makes you feel alive it really does takes the camera but also it takes the boat sideways as I'm trying to get into Bog's Lock. I can't see my in. <laughs> I'm so sorry the wind took me. The wind took me and the camera. I sort of went into that lock a bit sideways. Okay. Not not the best. I have to get used to these conditions, I think. Oh dear, I definitely made a tricky job of Bog's Lock. Over the next couple of days, we've got to travel 11 miles through 12 locks, which is about 7 hours and 10 minutes in narrowboat time. And today's target is here. It might have stopped raining. And I definitely wasn't cold anymore. For a start, I was wearing about 13 layers, and also working the locks really does warm you up. We've had minus temperatures, we've had ice, we've had snow, and now it's all about the high winds. Winter cruising is just so exciting. Oh, hi, thank you, be careful. Oh my goodness, thank you so much, thank you. In fact, as we come into Penkridge, the waterway heritage is pretty much complete and unspoiled. Okay, we're coming into Penkridge now. So just looking up at the water point now. Um, must be, it's along here somewhere. Oh, I've got to get these amazing commemorations happening. So many birds! I don't know if they are the stories. They might be filthy. Like a hit. Filthy make this noise. Like a, a chuckle. Like a. <laughs> <laughs> but in birdie. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> I've seen Fool Fair this week and I've been so excited. So you can hear for yourself the noise they make, their proper sound.
Winter's bare branches means that it's a great time for bird spotting as you cruise along. That's a really pretty pub. When the Cross Keys opened in 1872 with an annual value of £21, it had no water supply, so all the water came from a spring just down the lane. But at the water point, ironically, more water started chucking itself out of the sky. Back we go. Back we go. Even though I'd had to set every single lock and I was completely soaked through, there were still so many beautiful features to see along this stretch of the Staffs and Wuss Canal. Lovely bridge. This bridge is otherwise known as Fancy because it's one of the most charming bridges along the Staffs and Wuss Canal. Its octagonal columns and sandstone just make it really gorgeous to look at. Over here you can see the River Penk has flooded the landscape. We left about half past ten this morning We've been travelling for about four hours today, including a half an hour stop for water. Um, after the next stop, we're going to moor up somewhere. End of day one, trying to get to Dixal Wide. We stopped just before Bridge 94. It, I'm drenched. I'm drenched. Oh, let's get warm. What a perfect place to stop for the night because the next morning on the towpath just in front of the boat I spotted a great white egret. It's a great white egret. What's it going to do? Oh my goodness. Look, it's on the towpath on the canal. A great white egret. I don't believe it. on the canal. I mean maybe they do go on canals, I'm going to have to look that up. Gorgeous birds, you don't see them very often. What a morning treat. The rain has gone and the wind has calmed down so it's a perfect day today to get to Tixel Wide. There's a boat just ahead of us so we don't want to go right up against it. So just wait for him to go around the corner. The waterlogged and soaked grass was throwing up all kinds of treats for the rooks. They were everywhere. Because there was a gap in between the winds and the rain that we were having, lots of boats were making use of this lull in the weather.
So here's the lot landing and the boat that was ahead of us must have gone through because it's not on it. But all I could see at the lock were a pair of gorgeous Jack Russells belonging to the boat behind. And more evidence of flooding on the right hand side here. So this is the Staffordshire Boat Club. I really like this boat here. I like the shape of the windows. That's called Red Admiral. And yet another boat making good use of the dry weather. Sure, we've got enough rooms there. We eventually saw the Canal River Trust boats busy working very hard. Okay. So here, this building work is to link the River Sow to Stafford. And it's going to be called the Stafford Riverway Link. It's a new name for what was the old Stafford Branch Canal. The original purpose of the canal was to supply Stafford with coal, but now its aim is to boost tourism to Stafford. Oh, listen, listen to the hedges. I'm just seeing some amazing bird life, so I'd like to spend some time here and then that means the last weekend, next weekend's cruise will be a tiny bit longer into the marina for Christmas but not that long. It's just I feel don't want to miss this opportunity to see the incredible birds here. So it looks like the arm code before Tixel Lock is home for the week. As soon as it was dry and the wind had dropped, I headed to the nearby Shugborough Estate. You can rent these one bedroom gatehouses out for a holiday. So Zephyr's near the tunnel entrance, which has been done up really grand for the train to go through. Ooh. Brilliant timing! Right, this tunnel was built because the first Earl of Lichfield that lived here in the 1800s did not want to see the railway line running through his estate. So the tunnel was built so it hid the railway line and it runs for 700 metres across the estate. Here's a train! And they're so impressive, the portals, that they're nicknamed the Gateways to Jerusalem. They are pretty spectacular. This building was once sat in the middle of the pond, surrounded by water, in the middle of the village of Shogborough. But as well as the buildings, I was really impressed with the wildlife.
Right, this is purple jelly disc. Also very interested in the grass here are the longhorn cattle which belong to Shrugborough and have done so since 1805 and they're given the pedigree Sherbrooke which is the name of the stream that runs through the estate. Look how docile and gentle these longhorn cattle are. Wow, that buzzard, amazing. It's a bit of a special moment for me now. It's going to sound really weird, but I last vlog last week, I came to the end of my journal, the book I write in at the end of every video. And this book, I mean, I started it the first day in there in this book. Oh, <laughs> hang on. I am clumsy. The first day in it was the 30th of the 12th, 21 to the 2nd of the 1st, 22. So it's that first week. And two years, there's two years of drawings and poems in this book. And before this book, I filled another journal. And this is, you don't, I don't think I've done these on vlogs, maybe very really old vlogs. Um, yeah, I was, it's very different. It's very uh, just quick notes and yeah, not, not like the journal I do at the moment. And even before that, when I first got on a boat, I just made a book because I didn't have a book just to fill with ideas. The pressure, the pressure of starting a new book and writing in the first page. And I'm going to tell you something. Normally I have written the poem first. I always think of the poem first and then I do the drawing. But this week, I haven't got a poem in my head yet. I've been thinking about a poem. So I'm going to do the drawing first. It's like at school, you know, when you, I remember those days, you get your first book and you open it and you want to do your really, your very, very best. And then it all goes downhill from that moment. Well, maybe I'm going to start downhill. I'm a bit worried. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the first entry of the next book which is still 2023. I'm going to have two more entries in this book and then we'll start 2024's 
journey. Oh, the pressure. Thank goodness I've got two great big biscuits and a great big cup of tea because I need that energy. <laughs> oh. Hang on a minute. Boat rocker, coat soaker, sky crier, smoke stoker, tip tingler, wind whipper, hail whaler, peace breaker, tree lifter, breeze twister, field flooder, mud puddler, feather ruffler, head shredder, splash lashing storm. Now hop splodging, claw dippers, spade wading, beak diggers, lift shift and prey pry on a bird worming swarm.